Hey gang, the uh, Nate Damsey here, and as you may have guessed by my awesome new shirt, that my Marks and Time booster box finally arrived. Um, it's not quite an epic story, but there's quite a tale. In fact, the whole month of June, lat first half of July, have proven to be really quite entertaining, at least to me. <laughs> but. Um, I've gotten at least, actually, two requests to do an unwrapping video, so here we go. I'm going to do that. And, yeah, really not much more to say right now, so uh, let's get to it. So, all right, can I just start by saying how much easier it is to get this set up now that I have an actual camera and tripod? You know, I've had the tripod for a few years, but didn't have a camera to use it on, but... This is much better, much easier to use than my phone on said tripod. But yeah, let's get right to it. <sighs> so, one of the requests for this unwrapping video actually sort of came from Facebook. And they more or less asked why I didn't do this for the pre-release kit. And the answer was, well, first of all, here's our rare. <clears throat> but one, it was just like the timing more than anything. Because, as I mentioned in the pre-release unboxing video, I was actually in a time frame. I was just filming that while I waited for a friend to pick me up for my monthly Pathfinder game. And... Yeah, I'm not going to lie, in between my turns and whatnot, I was checking social media, and everybody was talking about the sets, so when I got home, I just started cracking stuff open. A hot dang, second pack, and I got my first Ultra Rare. And, um, not complaining, but I think this is a duplicate of one of the ones I got in the pre-release kit, but that seems to be happening a lot with this set, honestly. I had, like, two of just about everything. <sighs> Oh, and, uh, a rare is another problem. Oh, boy. Okay. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, when I got home, I just started cracking those things open, but... I'm not gonna lie, I was hesitant to do an unwrapping video with those, because, A, I didn't know what kind of interest there would be, and, B, there was just so freaking many of them. That thing would have been, like, three hours long. But, uh, while waiting for the... Ooh, and hold, there's Boulder. I really love that episode. I really love that whole thing. Yeah, so... Yeah, I just didn't know if there was interest, and it was... It would have just been so freaking long, and... Again, by then, I couldn't wait. But I... But by then I got one I got a YouTube comment on that video asking saying I should do one of these. So I decided then when I got my booster box, hey, I finally got Scootaloo. Um yeah, speaking of duplicates and whatnot, when I was doing all the packs from the pre release kit, I got two Sweetie Bells, two Apple Blooms, but I didn't get any Scootaloo. And now I have Scootaloo. I am happy. Hopefully I well, I probably won't get another one, but still. And then Hearth Swarming Traditions, which is a ridiculously strong card. Uh, but then the whole trying to get my booster box became a thing. I got the uh, shipping notice on a Friday, I think it was. Thursday or Friday. And... I, I'm not going to lie, I kind of assumed, hoo-hoo, Starlight Glimmer. And Princess Luna card I will use for a Starlight Glimmer deck. I kind of assumed that since the, the pre-order option said you should get it on the street date, that I would get it with advanced shipping like I did the pre-release kit, because the pre-release kit arrived within three days. But that wasn't the case. And, you know, that was kind of wrong of me to assume that. 
and that I ended up leaving my trip before it arrived, and that it didn't arrive while I was on my trip, and then it didn't arrive for like a week after I was home. Hmm, Nightmare Moon, I really like this card. Yeah. And adorable filly and baby gildas and, excuse me, party filly. And I waited and I waited. I was trying to be patient, but I've I've ordered stuff from Enterplay before, and it doesn't take this long to arrive. So I shot them off an email, and I'll admit I did this on the weekend, so I didn't get a response for a couple days. But when I did, it was like first thing in the morning, and they said we will ship you out a new one. We will ship you out a new one today, and Wonderbolt Stadium. Um, that's another reason why pre-release kit was really good. I ended up with four of these because I wanted, you know, a playset for a deck and one for my binder, and I got that. So this will probably be tray fodder at some point. But either way, good card, really good card. And I don't know if I was just my paranoia or impatience or what, but I started to get worried that it wasn't showing up. And of whether or not I should email them again, they would have to send me a third package, but then it arrived like that day, and I can already see I have a shiny. Woohoo! And the shiny event, Redeeming Qualities, which is nuts. From the discard pile right into play. There are very few cards that do that, and with good cause. And the rare is Zippor Will. Character I don't remember that apparently everybody goes nuts for. I will have to rewatch Pony Tones, but either way, both of her cards have been really good. So yeah, I just decided I kept on telling myself, oh, give it a few more days, give it a few more days. You don't want to bug the nice people. And then did it arrive yesterday, which I believe was July 7th. I'm recording this on July 8th. And, you know, by then I thought, well, no one's going to want to see an unwrapping video. The set's been out for a month now. And, you know, this is all old news. <sighs> but then I, um, you know, speaking of delays, hey, Battle Snakes. I love this card. It's one of my favorite cards that come out of the whole set because, you know, if you've been watching the show, you can figure out why. And adorable Philly Mod and Twinkle Shine. But yeah, speaking of delays, I saw that in, you know, Facebook's secret inbox, I had a message from someone I didn't know, but they said they had watched my pre-release kit, pre-release kit unboxing, and wanted to know if I had where the unwrapping video for was that, basically. And, you know, I explained, well, I didn't do one, but, you know, now that my box is here, I'll probably do one with that. And, you know, I checked this morning, just this morning, before, you know, and I got a response with, oh, yes, I'm still looking forward to that. So, yeah, this is for you, nice lady. Again, very, thank you very much for watching, and messaging me, and I'm really sorry it took me so dang long. And, uh, wait, where's my rare? Oh, Spike's the rare. It's gonna be put out. <sighs> but, yeah, the whole month of June has just been kinda nuts. Let me put it this way, I took, uh, I went on a trip, that was to visit family down south. And I actually took my camera with me because when I had gone last year, there was a game store that was supposed to open while I was there, but, you know, stuff got delayed and they didn't actually open while I was there. And my thought was, I will bring my camera in case I can buy something pony game related there. Oh, there's always one pack that doesn't open quite right. I mean, that's... Or at the very least, I will find the drafters at Target, and I can do a mini video on those. Well, didn't find anything at Target, just more high magic packs. 
if that, I don't even remember. Yeah, there was a, I remember I bought one of those. But, uh, ooh, the spectacle. I love song cards. And Pip. Okay, let's just pause a moment to talk about Pip's flavor text. I mean, really? Topical. Ah. Uh, uh. And when um I did go check out the game stores, it was actually really nice because um they own both a game store and a comic store. And you know the guy said we had to do separate hours because the gamers just never leave. They their hours were something like noon to midnight or something crazy. And you know that's fine. Back when I was able to get out more, I was I would hang out at my local gaming store quite a bit. Well, until the customer workers started treating me like crap. But anyway, um, rare event. Banish all cards in a discard pile. This is a mod killer for one action token. <laughs> so yeah, so I first got to check out the comic store. You know, and the plan was to come back when the gaming store was open, but then as I was checking out at the comic store, you know, I saw that they had My Little Pony cards ultra rares, or at least alternate foils, because one of them was the Applejack Element of Harmony, pinned to the wall behind the register, and I went and got a closer look, and they had a few, ooh, oh god, how awesome was all the alternate futures, and how awesome is this insane card? <laughs> And then the anti-bully. I have another. I actually have a story about that one too. Uh, but I asked if those were for sale, and he said no. And I was, like, uh, I was disappointed because there was one of them was the Rainbow Dash. The, the Rainbow Dash card from Premiere that got a promo card a few sets later. That's just really freaking good. Oop. And another Apple Bloom. And at this point, I have enough... I have a enough for a playset and my binder with Apple Bloom. Because, I'm not going to lie, when this package finally came, I also pre-ordered the Drafters, and I love this Applejack card so much. I have a feeling that this might be banned at some point, because it is just way too good. No, I didn't pull the rare out, which was the train station. And I just bumped my tripod. But the guy was nice enough that he actually, like, took us over. Well, not next. Yeah, it was right next door. And he opened up the gaming store just so we could look around real quick. Me and my dad could look around real quick. And, you know, I was getting excited. I was like, oh, they're going to they're gonna have a ton of My Little Pony stuff. It's going to be great. Oh, jeez. Talk about insane cards. This card is just absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is, if you saw the pre-release video, this is the Fluttershy card I got in that little packet of Ultra Rares, and I just said, oh, here's one I've never seen before, but I'm not going to read it right now. I have since read it, and I have since put it in a deck, because it is nuts. And I just got excited, I was like, oh, I, I'm going to, they're going to have a booster, they're going to have an absolute Discord box, and I'm going I'm to buy it, and, and... I'm not going to lie, I was kind of disappointed in their pony selection, because all they had was the Equestrian Odyssey theme decks and two packs of Canelot Knights. And I, as you may have guessed from some of my other videos, I have more Canelot Knights than I know what to do with. So I'm not going to lie, I was a little disappointed. And then when I got to go back and check out the store... When it was open, the packs of Candlelight Knights weren't even there anymore, so that wasn't even an option. Blank flank. Blankest flags. Oh. But I, I, you know, they did have a bunch of other cool stuff, and I, you know, walked, bought a couple things. And, you know, the stuff was really nice, and I did ask if they had singles for the My Little Pony Party game, and the guy's answer was probably, but I have no idea where they are, because... I'm sure he gave reason, it might have been just that he admitted he was disorganized, but, yeah, so, 
But yeah, I didn't get a booster box or anything, so I ended up bringing my camera for nothing. Ooh, Starlight Glimmer. I love Starlight Glimmer. And this makes a playset for my deck, so if I get a another one, that can go in the binder. And again, Dorable Mod Pie. Which, you know, so I ended up bringing my camera for nothing, which made it all the more hilarious when on the way back I got a text from my aunt letting me know that I had forgotten it. But she mailed it to me, and I'm obviously recording it now, and my worry was that, you know, the way the month was going, that I would get finally get my booster box, but I wouldn't have anything to record anything with. But the camera got here first, and then... I think that was last week, and then, you know, like I said, yesterday of this recording, the... There's my rear. The camera arrived. Or the booster box arrived, which I'm actually already about halfway through, it looks like. Yeah, I haven't been talking about much of the cars this time, just I... Just since so much is going on, I wanted to get it out, and I just realized this would probably be a more interesting way to do it than a whole separate video where it's just me laughing at myself in front of the camera. This way you guys got something at least more interesting to look at. Cracking the case. Immediately banish a troublemaker for one action token. Oh, this was such a good set, you guys. <laughs> okay, this is a good time as any because I needed another story. The anti-bully. So I have a very dear friend who's, you know, practically a sister at this point. Um... Back when I needed a place to live, she let me live in her basement for two months. So, okay, that's the kind of person she is. And don't misunderstand, it was actually a really nice basement. It e even had its own bathroom. But she did this vlog about how she considers herself an anti-bully, and it was really, really cool. Or a blog entry about how she considers herself an anti-bully. It was really, really good. And it's just, you know, one of those things, oh, it touched my heart and all that fun stuff. And sneak attack. Nice. Reveal your reveal. Go fetch a troublemaker. Might actually have to put this in a Rainbow Dash, the premier Rainbow Dash deck, because that deck sometimes, even with as many troublemakers as it has, I do not draw them, so I can't flip a Rainbow Dash. So anyway, um, yeah, a friend of mine does a book blog post about how she considers herself an anti-bully. Then, like, a week later, I think it was, Enterplay is doing Marks and Time spoilers on their Twitter, the official MLP CCG Twitter, and they reveal that Bab C's card, Bab C's anti-bully. Yeah, so I showed it to her on Facebook, and Sweetie Belle! This makes a playset for the deck. And this card is just absolutely insane. You know, if you're doing a three-color deck, which I'm going to try to do with the Kitty Mark Crusaders because, you know, I'm crazy. And Fernando! Oh, and... Guilty till proven innocence is one of my favorite problems right now. So, you know, I showed, I took, I like, saved the picture and showed her on Facebook and said, hey, I know you don't play the game or watch the show, but I will be giving you a copy of this card because this is amusing as heck to me. And she responded greatly enthusiastically. And so, you know, my pre-release kit comes. I have more anti-bullies than I know what to do with already. So, um, she's actually my landlord, landlady's daughter, so when I got ready to send the rent checks for June, I just threw it in the envelope that would be mailed, and sweetie Belle again. I don't know if I've ever gotten the same super rare in the box before, but yeah, this makes playset plus one for the binder, so I'm okay with it. And then, Thunder Lane, Unsung Hero, and then... Pip again. And oh god, I, I just, I love this card. I love the scene in the episode, and then I love the flavor text. And I love how it's primary non critter yellow, and non 
It's primary. Yellow is your primary. This is a good entry card if yellow is your primary color. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's not a critter, so that expands your options. And then, like, yeah, I was doing this before my trip, and during my, on some point in my trip, I got a text from this friend talking about how it made her day, and she showed me a picture of her holding the card with a big old smile on her face. And it just meant the world to her because she had a really, really rough day. So, yeah, I'm glad I did that. Yeah, another Wonderbolt Stadium. This is such a good card, I'm tempted to hold on to it, but I don't know when I'll be making another orange-blue deck. So, but I guess we'll see, but if nothing else, I'm really glad to have Trade Father, because, you know, people are always offering trades, and I never have anything anybody wants. Well, that's a really good card, so. Oh, crap, I'm running out of stories to keep you guys entertained while I open these. Oh, but, yeah, actually got, I'm... Um, yeah, so, on uh, Doctor Hooves, you can never have enough Doctor Hooves, uh, especially with one one of his blue cards that he got out, where it's like plus one for every Doctor Hooves in your discard pile. They might have to put a rata limit on that, the way they keep releasing cards for him, because you don't even need to, because, you know, he's got, he's got a main coming out, you know, Enterplay said, yes, that main is coming out. In Brony Cons this weekend, so maybe we'll finally get one. But basically, yeah, that Doctor Who's plus one for every card in his pile. You know, you just gotta find a way to make yourself discard cards, which, again, with some of the Doctor Who's cards, is really easy to do. With some of the most of Doctor Who's cards are blue, so hey, it's Lyra that. Go fetch a bonbon, and then we had uh, the rare bonbon earlier. So yay! Like I'm gonna pull that back up for a sec. One, I want to just. I love how these cards interact. Where you know, you exhaust Lyra to go get bonbon, and then when you play bonbon, you can ready someone. So that's awesome. But then, you know, we're just talking about how Lyra is a candy fiend and she became friends with Bon Bon because she has a sweet tooth or something on the flavor text. And it's just like, it's more of the they're just friends stuff, if you ask me. <laughs> Again, I flavor. When it comes to flavor text, I mean, say what you want about the game itself. When it comes to flavor text, Interplay are the kings and queens. It's just, it's so awesome. Oh, gosh, I know, there's more stuff that went on these few... Ooh! Sassy Saddles. Good, I needed an extra one of her because I got two in the pre-release stuff, but my roommate really, really like Sassy Saddles, so when I got the second one, I just gave him one. Because, you know, my roommate, he's been one of my best friends for almost 20 years now. Like, exactly almost 20 years. We're like a month or two off from that. <laughs> oh, gosh, I think I covered just about everything, though. At least all the super amusing stuff. I mean, as soon as I'm done recording, I'll remember a bunch more, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, that's why the video content's been so lacking lately is just that I didn't know what to do. Every time I came up with a video idea, stuff was stalled for one reason or another. Okay. Get these out of the box. That's how much I got left. So yeah, this went by pretty quick. Probably helps I'm not giving commentary on every single card I cut through like I did with that one Canterlot Knights box. Oh, uh, I... Please, if you watch that, please forgive me. I, I'm still new to the whole thing. Woohoo! Tree Hugger. Another one, another critter spawner. 
You know, I was kind of... Oh, and the Alicorn Amulet, which is a good card if you know how to use it, and I'm not sure I know how to use it. <laughs> yeah, yellow critter play, it used to be just kind of frustrating that, you know, yellow was practically dependent on critters. And, you know, to Enterplay's credit, now you can build viable yellow decks without even so much as one critter in your deck. But now I'm worried that focusing the yellow deck on critters could potentially be broken. There's just way too many good cards that play off that. You know, like that Fluttershy Ultra Rare. Detective Dud's a really good card, but I also really love that episode, so I might be biased. Ooh, Sweet Apple's Factory. Nice. So you play your home, exhaust this card, and remove a plus one power counter from one of your cards to gain an action token. Oh, so this is an action token spawner. Excellent. Uh, I love... That's like my... F you can never, ever have enough action tokens. Which is, I think, why Enterplay had to create Rainbow Dash on even ground. To just help counteract the sheer number of cards that... Basically to counteract purple. Because if you run purple, you could just have action tokens for days. Okay. Ooh, Queen Crystallis is my rare. And I don't remember if I have this one, so this will probably go in the binder. If not, uh, let's see what she does. Because she might be deck worthy. At the start of a face off involving this card, you gain control of an opposing friend until the end of the face off. Okay, yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah, there's two Queen Chrysalis's main, and I'm a sucker for theme. Two Queen Chrysalis mains, and I'm a sucker for theme, so that'll probably go in one of those. I only have one of them for the purposes of deck building. I got it in a trade, and the guy let me know ahead, ahead of time it was damaged, so I told him, yeah, I'll take it. I'll just put it in a deck first thing. Big Mac, adorable Big Mac. Big little little big brother. He uses the cutie mark mechanic. And my normal rare is an orange blue problem. And I am building an or one orange blue deck, so I did need that. I just don't know when I'm gonna get around to a second one. Three left after this one. Magic Arena, oh, and my bulk biceps has become one of my favorite, oh, sh is it saying my, am I no longer recording? Crap, how long have I not been recording? No, uh. oh, am I recording? Okay, I really don't know what's going on because I got this thing flashing in front of me and now I can't get my camera back on the tripod and now my tripod is sinking <laughs> see what I tell you guys this, this stuff has just been nuts and it's with my own idiocy Okay, so I will try to get through these quickly, and if I'm no longer recording, I apologize. But anyway, Magic Arena, awesome. Gets big bulk biceps, gets swole. Big bulk biceps, one of my favorite background ponies. Three more. My camera's just flashing all this weird stuff in front of me. Ugh. All right, getting through these last ones real quick, like... Uh, we got Spoiled Rich, who was a witch, to, you know, keep my show family friendly. Uh, hopefully that whole thing will... Ooh! An ultra rare I do know I do not have, so yay. And then Song Card, and then, you know, Adorable Phillies. 
Last one, last one. Royal Rare, come on guys, say it with me now. Royal Rare, Royal Rare. Nope, oh, just the vote. But, you know, it's a really good card, so. Alright, I'm um, wrapping that up. Um, thank you guys for the support. I know I don't have the hugest audience, but what audience I do have has always been really awesome. And I will see you guys when I do my episode for July, which I finally think I have a subject for. Alright guys, I will catch you later.